And Stephen Bunting was one of the players just outside the provisional spots, needing good runs in one or more of these events to book himself a ticket to one of the biggest majors in darts. It'd be Stephen for the ball. So it's kind of a fitting finale on day one that Stephen Bunting, who's done himself every favour and given himself every chance of qualifying for the All match right. play, is taking on the winner and defending champion of the world match play in this man, Dimitri Vandenberg. Vandenberg has been the best performer of the day so far, but Stephen Bunting has just knocked out the world champion and world number one, Gerwin Price, to set up this final. He's first in a couple of years, and he's looking for his first title 139. in half a decade. Any reason he can't do it, Paul Nicholson? I'm not going to say it. there's anything that Stephen can't do. But the fact of the matter is, if he's going to win this final, 81. he's going to have to do one of two things. He's going to have to raise his game to a level that Dimitri can't compete with, or he's going to have to defy something from Vandenberg because 44. he has averaged better for the day than anyone, including De Souza, who he beat in the semi-final. Better than Price, better than anyone. And if he maintains that 103 standard, Stephen is going to have to play his best game of the day to win this well, title. Yeah, 103.52, that average across the six matches that Vandenberg has played to book his place in this decider. Averaging 100 over 100 in five of those six. The only one in which he didn't was against Vincent van der Voort, and that wasn't too shabby. 97 and a half. Wins two against Peter Jakes, Josh Payne, Keane Barry. That one saw him average 110. Six. Brendan Dolan and Jose de Souza, which you've just commentated on, Paul, here on stream one. Yeah, that was quite good. Took out finishes of 170. 140, 129 with two double 18s and a 90 on the bull. Just a masterclass of finishing from Dimitri Vandenberg. 140. Well, a good setup shot, that 170. Vandenberg's highest checkout of the afternoon. Bunting's also came in the semi final. A brilliant match turning 1 3 2 checkout against Gerwin Price. 94. 118. Out of reach on this occasion. Allowing Vandenberg a chance at the Shanghai shot. Now, does he go for the bull ball? Well, I'll leave it up 70. to you to figure out if that was the right shot, but he didn't hesitate, did he? Yeah, he felt he was hampered by the dart below the treble 20. Bunting, just a very slight shuffle across the hockey you may have seen there. Now down for double three, hey, so. finds it, <laughs> and finds himself a leg in front in this race to eight. He will be nervous in this final, Murph. He's been in so many finals in the BDO, in his youth days, even in senior darts. 180. But you mentioned that difference in time between now and his last title. He will want this, and he wants to quash that five-year gap. 140. Yeah, it's just over five years for Stephen Bunting. March 2016, when he beat Michael Van Gogh in 6-4 in a Players' Championship final, having won... The very second PDC 91. event that he played in against Andrew Gildin back in 2014 has been in three finals since that win against MVG, but lost them all, one in 2017 and two in 2019. 97. The most recent being on the European Tour stage at Czech Darts Open when he was beaten by Jamie Hughes in Prague. Who could possibly forget that day? One of the hottest days in the history of darts. 66 degrees on stage, and Stephen Bunting was one of the last men standing. He held on to his throw in the first leg. 180. And that maximum is well-timed. He even got a pat on the table from Paul Nicholson alongside me. That's when you want to put the maximums in to leave those kinds of shots. When your opponent is thinking, I'm cantering to this second leg. He's going to need another 90 on the ball. 47. Doesn't get it this time. If Bunting does get this 84, his tail is going to be up. We'll come back to that because that probably changed the plan for Vandenberg. Double 12, double 6. Couldn't find it last time. Can't find it again. 78. Same miss on the inside by a good margin. And Dimitri is fortunate to be coming back here. Game shot. And he takes out 43. And there's a somewhat displeased look on the face of Dimitri there. 
But just to come back to that point about the pressure maximum. 140. From Stephen Bunting there. Dimitri Vandenberg sat on 90. It's very possible that if Bunting doesn't fill that up, that he goes the treble 18 route. Absolutely right. 96. He utilised double 18 very, very well in that semi-final, but there was a shot in that semi-final that you wouldn't have seen and I called it the luckiest dart of the day. Now, I mentioned the finishes that he took out, 170, 140, 129, 90 on the bull, but he t also took out a 76. He hit the, s uh, the big 20. 94. And I called that he was going to go for another big 20 for double 18. Well, it hit the flight, and it went underneath the 60. So he didn't bust the score, and then he hit the double 18. It was the luckiest single I've seen all season. But that maximum from Bunting... His second of the match, as you can see from that graphic, gets him in charge of this one. And there's nothing Dimitri can do 60. about it. Double 16. Moving somewhat closer to this target, but he can't find it. Well, he was moving from <clears throat> the right-hand side to the middle of the hockey there for that shot. That's how far to the right Steven stands. That's always been the case since 99. he was a kid. It's something that hasn't changed. And he does like double 16 from the angle. Two eights. 24. He's just messing around with this a bit too much, and you can't afford to give any chance to the World Match Play champion, even 1-5-2. Beyond him on this occasion, it just feels like this is a final. 65. The players are still warming into a good standard to start. Game shot. But just kind of wandering around, working each other out. Bunting has a slender advantage. He's got to make here while Vandenberg is not scoring like an absolute trooper. 100. Now he's not scoring to his best right now. That's why Vandenberg is cricking that neck a bit. He's trying to G himself up. He knows that he's not at his full potential. And at this 81. point, if Steven doesn't capitalize, he's going to lose this game. We've spoken about the success of 100. Stephen Bunting in the PDC. The fact that he's looking for his first title in five years, it's been a much more recent tale of glory for the Dream Maker since that world match play win. 180. Last summer, he's added another title to his senior PDC career. Of course, he couldn't stop winning titles in the development tour. But he beat Dirk van Dijvenberder at the back end of April. Players 58. Championship 12 to pick up his first Players Championship title, having lost a couple of finals a couple of years ago. 180. Another 180 from Bunting. He is starting to motor in that category. And he's starting to do what I said he needed to do. Yeah, four in the match. 17 for the afternoon. Back to back in this leg. And again, the timing of them has been perfect. Can he use that dart? Instead, it got in the way. 50. And everything down that line has been troublesome for Stephen Bunting so far <coughs> in this match. Yeah, everything's been pulled to the left. The double sixes, the double tens, the double fours being the only one to help him out. But he might have a level game. 93. Boy, is this a good chance for Bunting to get a two-leg gap. He mentioned the double four. Will he think about splitting this? No, his eyes are straight up at that double five. Game and he's straight in it. And he takes the chance to break. <laughs> And at the moment, Bunting is bossing the final. I'm sure you referenced the match between Bunting and Price at the World Championship in your last game. But you get the feeling if Stephen is to get this victory, the 180s have got to stay because it doesn't look like they're going anywhere right now. He's got Vandenberg in trouble in this first to eight match, but the finishing, which we saw from Bunting and Price in that match at the Worlds. We might have to see that in spells. 60. Maybe not in the same sort of spells that we saw at Alexandra Palace, but a 
couple of legs here, a couple of legs there. He's going to have to find some sort of perfection if he's going to steal legs away from the belt. Yeah, well, a spell of scoring there, but I think it was three 180s on the spin, wasn't it? Back to back to leave 60 in the previous leg and then opening this leg with the maximum. Yeah, well spotted. But as you say, and as he has been said many, many times, the famous phrase co coined by Bobby George. 91. That starts 180s for sure. It is the finishing that Bunting is going to have to polish to win this match. What's amazing to me is that that phrase is so old now. But 58. The more darts matches that we commentate on together and, of course, individually with other analysts, is that it's so true every single time. We've seen players have a ridiculous amount of 180s, but if they start missing doubles, those 180s are forgotten. Just cast your mind back to the quarterfinal that we streamed here between Michael Van Gerwen and Gerwin Price. Van Gerwen was averaging 119 at one point, leading 5-2, missed a match start, and Gerwin Price came back, prevented Van Gerwen from perhaps going on to win his first title of the year. Very much so. Just one double can be the difference. In that case, it was. 99. It seems to me, I don't know what you feel about this, Murph, but Bunting is getting all the good spots in this game. If Vandenberg is getting a chance, it's a biggie, but this is a chance. Oh, and it's 86. hit the eight. Do you know, I, I often think this, but you can tell a lot about a combination finish by where the dart in the big number goes, and that was nowhere near Game shot. for Dimitri Vandenberg. And he didn't do his usual thing of just calming down, resettling himself for the next visit. A wild miss. And Stephen Bunting has been let off the hook there. Well, we talked earlier, didn't we, about someone going for a treble 12 to leave double four. 60. With 44 left. And how concentrating on that smaller area sometimes keeps your mind really focused. Well, you're absolutely right about those singles. 100. There are players out there in this field who will take singles for granted. It is seen every single player's championship. But if you want to win this title, you cannot afford to be missing central singles, then, of course, missing things like that double 16. You, 60. from a player's perspective, you must think if you, in that same scenario, that you land one bang in the middle of the fat 18, you must think this is going in as soon as you throw the double. But if it's a little bit shaky and perhaps almost 57. misses, it might just be a seed of doubt, I assume. I can see it from both angles. You and Dan Dawson, I'm sure, got to see my wonderful 58 checkout in Gibraltar. But there have been times where you've got 110. It's a great example. Because I like double 16. You get that single 18 right in the middle. It always, it's almost an injection of confidence before you go for the 32. Of course, for uh, you, any young fans watching who are starting out in the game, Paul Nicholson is an excellent analyst and a top coach in this sport, but don't heed the advice of concentrating on the smaller target if it is 110 that you're going for. 41. I see what you mean, but right now it's pain being felt by Vandenberg. He just can't seem to click in this final. Everything he touched in the semi-final was perfect. 78. All of the chances were good. Even when they were difficult, he was taking them. But right now, he has not got the answer against Bunting, who has a very good record against Vandenberg. 99. I believe the last time that Vandenberg beat Bunting was when he beat him at the Grand Slam and hit that nine daughter. Yeah, absolutely right. 2018, having 96. beat him in the World Championship. In 2017, the 2018 edition of the Worlds. 54 needed. Couldn't find it. And that will be 92. Stephen Bunting's turn to attempt the 110. Can he show him how it's done? Is he going to stay there? No. Doesn't get a chance to double. And for the first time in a while, Vandenberg has got three darts in hand to negotiate a leg, to get within two. Can't miss. Game and doesn't. It's 4-2. <coughs> yep, still plenty of life in this final. Dimitri Vandenberg 
can still raise his game from here. I've seen a number of matches, particularly in floor events, where Vandenberg has been averaging in the low 90s or so for the first half of the match, and then all of a sudden has gone ballistic. I loved what you said earlier in the day fun. about Dimitri Vandenberg is the world match play champion, defending champion, and has never played at the Winter Gardens. When he was playing against Jose de Souza in the semi-final, I thought 57. about that statement. And of course, de Souza is the Grand Slam champion and has never played in Wolverhampton at two different venues. So that's what the pandemic has given us. Champions who have never played at the iconic venues. 44. Yeah, it'll be a, a strange title defence, won't it, to go and defend a title somewhere else. Of course, that's happened many times before for different reasons, when events have grown out of venues, for example. Yeah, Rima van Barneveld played at the Circus Tavern once. He was unbeaten there. He went on to defend his title at the Alexandra Palace. 58. Bunting, of course, beating Barney this afternoon. That was a, a quarter-final win for the Bullets. Barney, who has put himself in the mix for Blackpool. We will, of course, keep you updated as the week goes on about that race for the world match play. But Stephen Bunting, who was outside the qualifying places before today, currently sits in 13th of the 16 Pro Tour 58. qualifiers. If he wins this match, he'll move up to 9th. Another 25. 70. Gets it. Lines up tops. Really well done. But we did say, didn't we, about the match play race? Get yourself into a final. That's where the big dollars come in. And your destiny will be in your own hands. Well, Stephen has stood up today against some of his challenges for one of those spots. And he's very close. 20. But not close enough to winning leg number seven. That could be costly. Is 5-2 about to turn into 4-3? Does he stay there? Just look like a very, 58. very inviting guide. Went the conventional route in the end. Didn't work out. Bunting has had trouble here. This time he moves across and it pairs off. Used the guide very well indeed. That was a nice assist from that dart. I can assure you of that. It might have just missed if that was a clean shot. In Stephen Bunting speak, that's Firmino just getting a little bit of a glance over to Mo Salah. Yeah, proud Liverpool lad, Stephen Bunting. 180. Making Merseyside proud here. I met Stephen Bunting for the first time very, very briefly back in 1999. He was playing for Merseyside. As a 16-year-old kid in their A-team. He was a prodigy. The next time I met him... 180. He was doing things like this in a club in Toxteth and showing all of the other kids how to do it. Well, he's showing the world how to do it right here. I'm just going to let the viewers into a little secret. Before this match, I said to Paul Nicholson, we haven't had a nine data today, Paul. 84. Paul Nicholson answered with a single word. Yet... We haven't had one yet. 129. Oh, 129. And that is how close we came. I thought you were lining it up perfectly there. Shame wow. he didn't. What an effort from Stephen. 135. Well, he's had bother on double six. Now he's just got to win the leg. Game and shot. fair play to him because this is a final. He's just missed a nine daughter. His nerves will be shredded. But he looks ready to me. He looks in a great place. Yeah, the double six leaves Dimitri Vandenberg stranded Four. on two Four legs five. after a terrific ten daughter from his opponent and leaves Bunting two legs away from that elusive win. Well, he would have got him back for that nine daughter he hit against him in Wolverhampton. Victories for Stephen Bunting in the PDC, few and far between. Andrew Gilding in 2014 in a UK Open qualifier 16. final. Michael Van Gerwen in 2016. 
in a Players' Championship final. Five final defeats, including one, Paul, that and you might remember in Sydney, a tournament that you were in back in 2014. Yeah. He lost to Phil Taylor in that one. Yeah, I was there. Great tournament. That was when Michael Van Gerwen lost to... 177. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Warren Parry. Yeah. Big shock. Bit of a pointless answer, that one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it possibly would be. 140. Now, that was a great tournament. And Stephen's inclusion, of course, because of him being the existing Lakeside champion at the time, making the final. 59. Proving that his inclusion in that tournament was thoroughly justified. Yep, Vandenberg. Should be able to use that. Bullseye. 105. Well, I saw this earlier from Dirk van Dijvenborde. This would be gargantuan. And that 25 100. that Vandenberg has right now is by no means a certainty because he's in trouble. This has got to go. Oh, it's shot. a beautiful shot, and it's clean as well. No little kiss off the other dart. That's a great throw. Full extension, no nerves, and he's back in this one. He may be three behind, but that break of throw does change things a tad. Yeah, back in it. And good to see him back in the final so quickly. It took him a while to get going on the floor. It was always bizarre because he won so much in the same circumstances, same surroundings on the development tour. 60. Dimitri Vandenberg, a real flag bearer for the current PDC system. But he was having a lot of early exits in floor events for a number of years. A man who also actually has lost the World Series final. 60. The one in front of the biggest ever PDC crowd. Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, that was a German Masters 2018 when he lost to Mensa Silly, which I remember a little bit of argy-bargy between the pair before that one, actually. It was in a place that I've always thought people from Liverpool would say brilliantly. Gelsen Kirchen. <laughs> oh, that's a great shot from Vandenberg. Gets himself 85 ahead, and he's got to find more of that if he's going to stand a chance of extinguishing this three leg cushion that Stephen has now. 60. Well, as you mentioned, Bunting beat Vandenberg in Bolton earlier this year, despite an average of 112 for the dream maker. Going to need to produce something like that for the rest of the match to turn it around, but he's not making a bad fist of it here. Back to back maximums. I think it's the third time we've seen that in this match. 125. One for the nine dart attempt for Bunting, one earlier. Now Vandenberg is in on the act. Game shot. And he nails the double just to give Stephen Bunting a little bit of a tap on the shoulder. I think it's more than a tap right now because that leg, with the two maximums that Stephen will have heard from Andrew Davies, our referee. 140. It's one to say, I want this as much as you. I'm willing to scrap for this. And he's not missing this 60. At all. 140. Almost did three in a row like Stephen earlier. Yeah, remarkable scoring from the pair of them. Reigning maximums in this final. 100. Well, let's face it. It would be a better match play with Stephen in it, playing like this. Well, you, you mentioned the semi-final against Gerwin Price in the World Championship. What about the match in the match play a couple of 100. years ago that went to extra time and the bullet won? 13-12. Dan and I were talking about this man's resilience because a couple of times he's been on the brink of really taking a tumble down the rankings and had big 60. runs at major tournaments to keep himself in the upper echelons of world darts. Yes, he's done very well to respond to adversity in his head and on the dartboard. He has got something. And I don't want to say it's because of where he's from, but I think it's the fact that he surrounds himself with the right people. And he genuinely believes in himself. You have to, to be able to do what he's done in the game. And his story isn't written. 134. Yeah, certainly plenty of life. 
And Stephen Bunting yet. How much more life in this final? The ops for tops. 42. Couldn't take it out. I would have expected him to put another one in the 15 there. I was the same. If you're going for treble 10 there, I would have thought another 15 was the was the play. But spot a bother. Double two. Biggest start of the match. 64. Oh, that's such a great invitation for Stephen. Now that's the let off that he really required to put himself within one of the win. He gets double 10. Firmly the favorite. Now you see what it means to him right there. Look at this. Is that the point where Stephen Bunting won this starts match and finally added to his title tally in the PDC? 60. Half a decade since title number two. He's won away. He's done everything right in this final. Everything apart from the nine data, of course. Did have a nine data, didn't he? In Niedenhausen. Yes, he did. Earlier this year. That was his second in PDC darts. There are, in my opinion, three different wins that you can get. 104. In sport. Your first win. A win that just continues your legacy. And the comeback win. That's what Stephen's trying to do here. When you've had the drought. 57. Look at someone like Richard Bland, for instance, who won the British Masters Golf after something like 450 tournaments. The outpouring of emotion 57. when he did so. But imagine having that huge gap between a title and another one. The feeling of, am I going to win another title in my career? Well, right now, Stephen Bunting is very Bunting. close to one. Edging closer. Nothing between them. In this leg, but a trebleless turn. 44. Will be an invitation for Bunting to get the job done here and now. Boy, would he like a maximum here. Through these hard. Very, very hard. Because it works. With those really light darts, all they need sometimes are bedfellows with pace through the air. And that's exactly what Bunting was able to do. 180. Well, what a response. Vandenberg replying in kind, saying, I'm not going to hand it to you. But Stephen Bunting has been waiting for this party for five Stephen years. Up. And the match. Stephen and Bunting. And now he can put up the Bunting because the bullet has won his first title in half a decade, seeing off Dimitri Vandenberg, the world match player champion, and more or less securing a spot at the world match player for himself. It has been brilliant from the bullet. Stephen Bunting picks up a third PDC title. It has been coming, and he finally adds to that tally. Wonderful stuff from Bunting.